tail light assembly on my daughter's 2003 Acura MDX. This is a pretty simple uh, takedown and reinstallation. You can see that this tail light has lost a lot of the plastic in an accident, and this light bulb here is missing as well, so we'll have to replace the light bulb. You only need a couple of tools for this job a flat bladed screwdriver a number two Phillips screwdriver. If you don't have a number two Phillips screwdriver, you can use a skinny flat bladed screwdriver. It's not necessary, but I find it helpful to have a pair of needle nose pliers. You need the replacement lens, and of course we need the bulb that was missing, and you can look up the model number of the bulb in your owner's manual. We're going to start with the flat bladed screwdriver. And there are two flanges here that we have to pop off. They come out very easily. Then we take the number two Phillips screwdriver and we remove the two screws that hold this assembly on. Now you want to be careful not to drop those screws down these holes because they can fall into the bumper and then they're hard to find. And that's where the needle nose plier can come in handy. Once you've loosened that screw, you can grab it and pull it out without dropping it down into the bumper well. Now this assembly just pivots off. You'll see there are four light bulbs. These come out very easily. You grab, twist and pull out, twist and pull out, twist and pull out, twist and pull out. We'll take our replacement light bulb and that just pops in very easily to the socket. Now we have our replacement lens that we've purchased remove the small hole covers that are stuck on back and start replacing the bulbs. Again, they go into these slots, pop it in and twist to tighten. Pop the bulb in, twist to tighten. Pop the bulb in, twist, pop the bulb in, and twist. These two small spikes go into these holes. And then give a little push to seat those spikes. And we take our two screws and very carefully Put them back in, making sure we don't drop them down that hole. Tighten the screw. Same with the second screw. Get it in the hole. Tighten it with our number two Phillips screwdriver. Close up the flanges. Good job.